Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the very first virtual edition of the Global Manufacturing and Industrialization Summit. The manufacturing community meets again in very different circumstances to our previous gatherings in Abu Dhabi and the Russian city of Yekaterinburg. Despite being unable to convene physically, there is a sense of urgency about holding conversations that shape the future of manufacturing. The continued participation of our partners and speakers underscores the importance of these discussions in the context of the pandemic. The coronavirus has unfortunately hijacked our world. Practically no aspect of our lives has been left unscathed. The health and safety of every individual has become a primary concern. And in the process of protecting public health, immeasurable damage has been inflicted on our economies. Over the past few months, we have been living in a vicious circle where new strains and stresses have developed within and between countries, giving rise to growing fears of an uncertain future, one where peace and stability cannot be taken for granted. All of society needs to take a deep breath and give serious consideration about the way forward. Radical transformation must take place within every aspect of industry and at every level of society, and the manufacturing sector is by no means an exception. Rather, as the lifeblood and driving force of much of our modern world, ranging from the local to the international sphere, our sector needs to seriously reflect on how to best respond to this crisis and how businesses, governments, and civil society can collectively work together to manage the recovery ahead. Trade has in many ways become the backbone of the global economy. It is what keeps society going and what binds the nations and regions together. In a very short space of time, consumer needs have changed forcing manufacturers to adjust their products and services beyond the distortions that have already been imposed on them by the pandemic. The way in which goods get produced and distributed to provide for the needs of a dramatically changed world will become unavoidable. Entire workforces will need to be upskilled, reskilled, and repurposed to catch up with the pace of change. Most of us we tend to agree that the impact of COVID-19 has been unprecedented. The speed with which it circumvented the world has proven just how interconnected we have become through the seamless movement of people, capital, goods, and services. Its disruptive impact on the global economy has at the same time exposed just how vulnerable we all are. The crisis has turned our attention from distant horizons to closer surroundings, serving as a timely reminder of the importance of cultivating local and regional markets, and most definitely magnifying the need for more agile, more responsive, and more resilient value chains. It has also led to heavy changes and drastic shifts in industrial operations, which may very well be the beginning of a new hybrid reality that will further blur the lines between physical and virtual activities. As challenging as this new reality may seem for most of us in the manufacturing sector, coupled by the geopolitical shifts and protectionist sentiments that have overwhelmed us in recent years, we must strike a sensible balance between having efficient and competitive supply chains whilst also securing necessary and flexible local capacity. Moreover, bridging inequalities and addressing climate change through digital means have become top priorities, because unless we take either seriously, we risk losing our values as well as our existence. Overcoming these challenges requires a paradigm shift towards collaborative management between all stakeholders. Private sector companies should take the lead and accelerate the next evolution of digital capabilities, 
while governments should focus on providing the right policies and frameworks to embrace the fourth industrial revolution. Without a doubt, this industrial revolution will be key to resetting our future. Much as digital technologies have already become embedded in our daily lives, the certainty of digitalization, demonstrated by the staggering speed of innovation, is becoming instrumental to the fight against the current or any other future crisis. We need to view the economic recovery from the pandemic as an opportunity to reform and welcome a new transformation that may very well change the course of our lives for the better. We hold our destiny in our own hands. The decisions we take in the coming years will define our future and that of future generations. We owe it to them to plan for tomorrow rather than acting in the narrow self-interest of today. Let us work together and charter a new course towards a more inclusive, sustainable, and prosperous world for all. Thank you for your kind attention and joining us virtually.